Hey Pisces, welcome back to the Green Sage. Today's video will be your um, August Zodiac predictions. As usual, I'm going to explain how I feel it's best to utilize these monthly predictions. My suggestion is that you watch your sun, moon, and rising signs to get um, more of a full overview of what you can expect um, in the month ahead. Your sun sign will let you know what's going on in your day-to-day -day life, your ego, you know, the things that might be coming up for you in terms of your ego. Your moon sign will let you know what's happening in your mental, emotional, and spiritual body, you know, the subconscious things that might be coming up that your ego is trying to block um, that, needs to, that needs healing. And then your rising sign will let you know, it will show you how the world sees you. And also it's, sort of like your roadmap of the tools that you need, the things that you need to do in order to um, have a smoother transition between the things that you might be experiencing. So for instance, my rising sign is in Leo. Leos are meant to be, um, they know what they want and they go after it. They're blunt, they take a lot of pride in their appearance and their health and they don't shy away from the limelight that sort of thing i noticed for myself that for most of my life that is not who i was but as i got into spirituality and started learning more about spirituality and astrology i realized that those leo characteristics are exactly the things that i was missing that i needed to embody more in order to achieve the things that i wanted to achieve in life and Life has been a lot uh, smoother since beginning to work on those things. So maybe that is something that will also help you in utilizing this energy. Um, so I've been listening to music and channeling song messages as I shuffle. And the songs you actually received too. You have Everything But You by Clean Bandit. And sorry, let me... And you also had uh, 2002 by Anne Marie. And I feel like what this is telling me is that this month, you really need to grab a hold of the things that make you feel good, the things that make you feel grounded. There may be some grief or other things that you are dealing with or experiencing that m might make it hard to find gratitude in the moment, it might make it hard to see the good things in your life. Um, you may even be remembering people, things from the past that are no longer there, right? That used to be, you know, like your rock, your stability. Try to find the things in this moment, in this month, that can keep you in an attitude of gratitude. I've already drawn some oracle cards, and we will finish off with some tarot cards. So your first oracle message is gentleness from Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Then you have Truth Be Told in Reverse, card 14 reduces to a 5. Then you have Soul Star Activation, Fulfilling Soul Contracts, Remembering Who You Are. You also have Alchemy with card 38, Queen Nefertiti, it reduces to an 11. And you have gratitude. Didn't I just say uh, keep an attitude of gratitude this month? It says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. If you are feeling any sort of grief or pain around people or situations this month, or even anger, right? around some situations. That energy is coming up so that you can transmute it, you so that you can alchemize it into 
something better. You know, to see the blessings in all situations in life, I feel like is what this month is really asking you to embody. If there are people, places, situations, and things that are no longer in your life or that leave your life this month, know that that was just you fulfilling your soul contract. That was, you know, all people involved fulfilling their soul contract. Sometimes we are meant to, no, sometimes, right? Our souls, before we incarnated on this earth, signed a contract with another soul to help us learn a lesson and some of those lessons can be very painful but in experiencing them it gives us the ability to um, practice our power of alchemization of turning lemons into lemonade so to speak and I feel like that is what this month is asking you to do let's read this truth be told card for you I right, open right to it. That's amazing. <laughs> it says protection message. Where are you being dishonest with yourself or others? If you're unhappy in any area of your life, look for signs of denial. This can also pertain to others being misleading or withholding or acting from hidden agendas. Now is the time to say no to dishonesty in all forms. Ask for the truth, even if you don't like what you hear. Acknowledging it will be key to a beautiful new future where you no longer labor under the heavy burdens that deceit and denial impose on you. Set yourself free. Nothing less than truth is required now. Maybe there was a truth spoken to you recently that has, that caused you pain. Maybe conversations need to be had with someone this month about the truth whether that's your true feelings about a situation or their true feelings whatever it is it feels like um a sad time to be honest it could be it could be something that happened in the past or is happening in this month of august but that gives you the opportunities to close out any situations that needed to be closed out. So then that you can take that energy and transmute it, alchemize it into welcoming in the things that you want in your life, the things that are worthy of you, the things that make you feel good. If there is something that recently closed out in your life or it's closing out this month, know that it's an opportunity for you to, to rest and recharge, to renew yourself, to, um, what is it? Something your batteries, renew your batteries or charge, charge your batteries. I feel like that's what this month is for you is a recharging of your bat batteries. I feel like it's more that you're coming off of some sort of blow from the past. It could have been, you know, five minutes ago or five years ago. It doesn't matter when it happened. But during this time, you're being called to be gentle with yourself and surround yourself with other gentle people. People who will help you to feel good and know that this is not the end, so to speak remind you of how much more there is coming in for you my pisces let's read your soul star activation card it says through your previous journeys you have learned much about the inner workings of your soul and about the cycles of karma before this incarnation you set a powerful intention to remember your divine origins at this point you are in a powerful space for you are remembering who you truly are and you know that you have it within you to make a great difference in your own life, the lives of those you love, and of course, the world. 
This remembering is in alignment with the soul contracts you made before coming to this realm. If you find yourself worrying if you are making the right decisions, know that even if you aren't conscious of it, all that you have chosen so far is in accordance with your soul's evolutionary plan. I think that is the key point for you in this reading. Right? I'm going to read that again. If you find yourself worrying if you are making the right decisions, know that even if you aren't conscious of it, all that you have chosen so far is in accordance with your soul's evolutionary plan. And when you draw this gateway, you are opening up on higher levels. That means any pain from the past, any grief, any heartaches, any failed relationships or jobs, whatever it was, they're all in accordance with your plan. Your plan was to experience those things. Take that energy and alchemize it, transmute it, turn it into something more positive. Find, um, have, it, have that attitude of gratitude. Find the, the things that you can be grateful for in all the situations that you've experienced. That 38 reducing to an 11 tells me that you are beginning a new path. So that especially makes me feel like something has recently ended. Whether, like I said, five minutes ago or five years. Something has ended that is now bec becoming this new beginning for you. And I feel like part of that new beginning is remembering who you are. Remembering what you are worthy of, remembering what you want to experience within this life and not being afraid to go after it. Remembering yeah, who you are at a soul level. Let's see, your alchemy card says, you are an alchemist. You have the power to bend universal energy. That is who you are. That is what you are remembering. Dare to transmute lead into gold by shifting from fear to love. Everything you desire exists in some form of loving energy. Match this frequency. See it in your mind's eye first. Imagine it. I am loved fully. What does it look, taste, and smell like to be loved unconditionally? I am happy and healthy. See it. I am a money magnet. What does it feel like? Goddess Declaration. Everything I touch turns to gold. You have the Midas touch, Pisces. I think you just forgot that along the way because of things that may have happened in your life that made you feel as though you were not making the right to the right making the right choices and decisions, taking the wrong paths, but you have not been taking the wrong paths. All of the things that you have experienced have led you to this point in time where you can remember who you are and remember all the magic and the power that you have within you to bend energy. Having that attitude of gratitude, choosing to see the love instead of the fear, that's what's going to help you to become even more of a, a master alchemist, the manifester, the magician, manifesting the things into your life that you want to experience. I want to say that your energy is super strong and what you think you receive. So if you're thinking negatively about situations or about yourself, that's what you're going to receive. If you think positively about yourself, about situations, and maybe look for the lessons, the lessons that they came to teach you, that is also what you will receive. Eight of Cups is your first card out. This is you leaving behind what you've experienced in the past to go out and find your final two cups. Find that Ten of Cups. Remembering who the F you are and going off in search of it. I feel like... Um, what was that first song that you received? It was Everything But You. You can leave 
everything else behind but you, right? But um, the prayers that you have on your heart, the feelings that you want to experience. Leave all the other ish behind. Remember who you are and go after that. Remember what you want, what you want to experience within this life. Admit the truth to yourself on that even. I really do feel like this is a month for you to turn lemons into lemonade. Whatever has not gone according to your plans or gone as you would like them to, you're going to be able to look at them and really find the lessons within them and turn those lessons into blessings for yourself. You got your third eye right. Oh, I see that as the third eye right now. I haven't seen that as the third eye before. But for your reading, I'm seeing that as the third eye. I feel like you're going to receive some insight this month of how certain things in your life were meant to go awry. So that you could take that energy and pour that into creating the life that you want. Alchemize that energy. Your next card out is the Two of Pentacles. You may have been going back and forth with yourself, juggling on, you know, do I leave? Do I go? Do I stay here in this energy? Do I go off and seek of something else? Life right now may seem like a great balancing act for you, but your intuition, High Priestess, that third eye coming in, your intuition is trying to tell you something to head in a certain direction. To take those lessons from past experiences and to go off in search of something new. You might not be able to understand exactly what's happening right now because you don't have all of the information, but bottom of the deck energy is the moon. What you need will be revealed to you in time. You, you don't have all the information now, but right now you're being called to trust yourself because that trusting yourself is bringing in a completion and the beginning of a new cycle. Hmm. What did that truth be told card say again? Um, a yellow finch just flew in front of my window. That tells me that you have so much abundance and prosperity to look forward to in the future once you set off in this new direction for yourself. I don't know if that's in terms of love and relationships or career. That could be even moving to a new location. It could be beginning a new job starting a business you'll have to apply it to your situation as it fits but there are some blessings that are waiting for you on the other side you just have to remember who you are and take those first steps to make it happen for yourself that truth be told car says where are you being dishonest with yourself and others i feel like that is the key um, question for you this month of August. If there are areas in your life in which you are unhappy, it's time to be honest with yourself and the people around you about that unhappiness. What is no longer working for you? What do you need out of life? Because once you do that, then you can take those necessary steps to moving towards finding your balance, moving towards finding the things that will make you happy, that will make you feel fulfilled. And you just have to trust your intuition on it.
say no to dishonesty in all forms, whether that's from yourself, telling yourself lies, or others being untruthful towards you. Demand honesty this month. But also be gentle. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat up anyone else, whether with your words or physically. Surround yourself with gentle, loving people who accept you for you, who want the very best for you. Find the things that can be your rock, that can be your anchor, that make you feel safe, loved, and protected. Close out any soul contracts that are no longer serving your highest and best good. Let's see if I can get another card here. Five of Swords wanted to show itself and I cut the deck. There might be some hard conversations that need to be had with someone this month. Could even be hard conversations with yourself. But those hard conversations are what will lead to this completion and what will lead you to being able to finally either come together with someone and collaborate and figure out how to fix some a situation that needs fixing or it will be you coming back into yourself and making those necessary changes of deciding to move into a new direction so that you can receive the happiness, the love, the abundance that you seek. You're coming into your power this month. You are manifesting and you're alchemizing, you're transmuting negativity into positivity. And there are some beautiful things that await you after this journey. Some beautiful things. Trust your intuition. So Pisces, these have been your messages for the month of August. If this video resonated with you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, I appreciate you sharing your energy with me and I hope to see you again soon. I love you so much. Goodbye.